Hey guys, and welcome to a video on how to effectively use the light machine guns in Black Ops 2. I'm making this guide because I don't see a lot of people using light machine guns online, and I think this is a shame as they are really good weapons if you know how to use them properly, and this video is going to teach you how. When using the light machine guns, you want to use their advantages to your advantage. Their advantages tend to be the large magazine size, high accuracy, and a very good range. Because of this, you want to stick to medium to long range encounters where possible, and make sure you can see as much of the map as possible. This will mean you can outpower nearly every type of weapon apart from snipers and maximise the amount of kills you can get. When using the light machine guns, you want to make sure that their massive disadvantage in close range has the least effect in your gameplay. For this reason, I recommend aiming down sights whenever it is possible and avoiding hip fire at all costs. If you're forced to hip fire, I recommend going drop shotting, as this means you can often get the advantage on somebody even if they are using a submachine gun. I have found this very effective in gameplay, as you'll probably see in some of the clips that you're watching now. I also recommend aiming down the sights whenever you walk around a corner. This will mean that you'll already aim down sights when an enemy appears, and will mean you have to hip fire less and hopefully you can get more kills and die less. Having said that you should never use hip fire, I found that using a laser sight on the LSAT quite effective as it has a rather high rate of fire. It was also quite effective on the LSW, although less effective than the LSAT because of the higher damage that the LSAT has. With all of the LMGs, I recommended you use a quick draw handle. This is because without it, they have an incredibly slow ADS in and out time, meaning you'll get outpowered by nearly every other type of gun as the hip fire is so bad. This plus dexterity means you can aim DS incredibly quickly. This is good for being able to take on SMGs and high powered assault rifles at closer range. When using the LMGs, I recommend you use flak jacket, toughness, and dexterity. This perk combination is very effective for LMGs, as it allows you to survive explosives, have less recoil when being shot, and aim down sights much faster. However, you may choose to put other things on, such as tactical mask or lightweight, to counteract the LMGs' slow movement speed. When using the LMGs, I recommend you always carry shock charges. This is so you can defend behind you when you're not looking and firing at lots of people who will be coming the other way. What I found was fun was using rapid fire and a laser sight on the LSAT or QBB LSW. This made them very powerful close range weapons. Though be warned, rapid fire decreases your range by 55%, meaning the LMGs will be very useless at longer ranges, and also the recoil is considerably increased with rapid fire. However, at close range they are very powerful as the laser sight and rapid fire combination allows you to take out enemies very quickly. The iron sights of most of the LMGs are very good, however I find the MK48 has rather obstructive iron sights and it would probably be advantage if you use a scope on it. The rest are all perfectly usable without scopes, however I often prefer scopes on the LMGs to give me greater accuracy at longer range. Thank you for watching this guide on how to use the light machine guns. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that more people use light machine guns online as they are very fun weapons to use, and I had a lot of fun getting the footage for this video. If you would like to see more guides for Black Ops 2 and other games, and also general gaming videos, please like, favourite and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter for all the gaming news.